Coconut, it's Ash! We're saved! Uh, Linker, are you talking to a coconut? This is my friend Coconut, Ash. He's been my friend since I got lost in the forest. The coconut is your friend. Yes, but we're going home now. Everything's gonna be okay because we're rescued. Link, this forest is only a quarter mile wide. In Mario's backyard. Uh, it is? You've only been missing for five hours. I have? And your beard is fake! What? This is impossible! Oh, and one more thing. Oh, great. Now what? You're still asleep. You never left Mario's room. All of this is a dream, and you're not really in this forest. Oh. No! Oh, thank the goddesses that was only a dream. No. I haven't had a dream that bad since Link's awakening. Hey! Ooh, a coconut! Finally, you have come back. I suppose you want to know what is going on. Yes, Ancestor! I need to know what happened to me! In the orchard, of course. Yes. I'm going to tell you everything I can, Mario. Brace yourself. Okay. Over a thousand years ago, my brother, whom you know is Nox Decius, and I had a battle. He had already become delusional with anger. I found a man who I believed was the Chosen One. This made Decius' rage grow into incredible, over-dynamic proportions. It was eating away at the very foundations of his spirit. You see, Decius believed that he was the Chosen One. And he hated the fact that I didn't think he was. What is the Chosen One? What does he do? Save the world. Ironic, I know. Decius became what he... became what he and I were born to stop. Merlin? I'm sorry. Anyway, getting to the point. We battled, and I killed him. What? Or... At least I thought I did. I injured him, and he was unconscious for over a year. His face was badly burned. It was at this point that Decius realized that he was mortal. That even with all his wizard abilities, he could not keep himself from dying. And that's when he began to research the Stone of Righteousness. Stone of Righteousness? I believe you know it as the truth. A false name it was given by the Gerudo. But no matter. Decius learned that with the stone, he could be invincible, but he wanted to make sure that no one could take it from him, so he devised a way to put the stone into his body. What did he do? He used a most ancient magic, El Nox de la Chateau, the darkness of the shadow. He used this spell to create a dark substance that would attach the stone directly to his soul. I believe you refer to this substance as simply the darkness. In the darkness lies the truth. Exactly, Mario, exactly. The Gerudos didn't mess up that part, they just didn't know what it meant. But Decius was still able to die from the Nether Saber! Yes, something he didn't expect. That there would be a force greater than the darkness. The Nether Saber was able to cut the connection between the soul and the darkness, releasing the truth, but killing Decius. Oh, don't worry about the truth. It's fine. And the darkness? The darkness had been living off of Decius's soul for countless generations, feeding off his very being. It knows his power. When the darkness was separated from the soul, it needed to find a new one to attach to, and that was yours. The darkness was in me? That's what caused the rage? Yes, but this time it was smarter. 
This time it was able to use the power it gained from Decius and combine it with the energy it took from you. That's why I was so weak. Yes, and after it had enough it left you, now able to sustain on its own. Where is it? It is the voice you've been hearing. It's starting to take physical form. I felt the presence of an arm yesterday, but it will have a whole body soon enough. What will it look like? The darkness will take the form of whatever host was most powerful, so we can bet that he will be the spitting image of Nox Decius himself, maybe a little bit more sinister. I see. Noxtesius's grand saber, the Black Widow Blade, is mine. What do I do? Just wait. He will come to you eventually. No need to rush. All right. Thank you, Ancestor. There's no need to thank me. I live to serve. Merlin, who was the Chosen One? Well, it wasn't Uther. And it wasn't Arthur either. He was close, but he didn't quite rid the world of evil. You see, I've always had it wrong. There isn't just one chosen one. There are two. Am I one of them? Yes. Who is the other? All in good time, Mario. I know the plan. I know what I'm supposed to do. Why is it so difficult? Will I be able to do it? I don't know if I have the strength. I'm going to do it right now! I will recharge you. I'm going to recharge you. I don't know if I can do it. What did he say? Not to worry about it. So what do we do? We be ourselves. What about our friends? We don't tell them anything. If they talk to us, we act like we usually do. Okie dokie. Peach, me and Luigi were just about to go hit up the tennis courts. You want to come along? No, I'm sorry. I have previous engagements. What previous engagements? Well, I, unlike you two, can no longer sit around and play games all day. Actually, you stand when you play tennis. Thanks, smart Alec. But I can't play along with you guys today. I don't get it, Peach. You're always complaining that we never spend enough time with you, and now when we're finally extending an invitation to come play some games with us, you decline the offer. What's gotten into you? Well, I have a job. A job? At Carl's Jr. I could have sworn it was going to be Taco Bell. What? How could you have gotten a job at Carl's Jr.? Because I'm a responsible and hardworking person. No! I mean, how could you have gotten a job at Carl's Jr.? They're the worst fast food chain in the world, besides McDonald's, of course. Taco Bell really would have been the better choice. Shut up! Who are you and who kidnapped my princess? Aren't you two just tired of sitting around all day doing pointless activities? What do you mean? We have to go fight Wario! I haven't seen you looking for him. But we don't know where he is. Which is why you look for him. Oh, <laughs> right. I don't have time for you two right now. My shift starts in five minutes. You can't be serious, Peach! The princess of the entire Mushroom Kingdom working at Carl's? You could have at least gotten a part-time job at the Scissor. Then at least you could have gotten paid tips as a waitress. Mario, what happened to your accent? What do you mean? We've been in the real world so long that I think it's starting to have a negative effect on our accents. Go on. Lately, we've been sounding more Irish than Italian. Oh, I, I don't know what you're talking about, Bio. I don't think we sound Irish at all. <coughs> Anyways, Luigi, Peach is right. Now that Wario has the True Stone, he's invincible, so we should try to find a way to defeat him. But uh, Mario, how did you know that Wario now has the True Stone and is invincible? Weren't you paying attention to Wario's monologue at the beginning of this episode? 
now that I've stolen the true stone from Noxtesius, I am a truly invincible and no one shall stand in my way. I don't know where Wario is, but I have a feeling that if we find Waluigi, he will be able to take us to Wario. But the Waluigi left and said we'd never see him again. How do you possibly plan on finding him? That's easy. Walgina. <laughs> 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 <laughs>